about 7 a.m. and I'm gonna head off for a walk. We pushed our trip back by one day, but with the loss of my grandfather and everything going on, I just needed some time to get things together. So we are leaving today, it's actually Monday, but we have a little time before we have to get to the airport. So one travel tip for a long flight is I'd love to get all 10,000 steps in before I ever take off. So I'm gonna go for a really long walk and get all 10,000 of my steps in so when I get to the plane, I can really relax and I don't feel so lazy. I am back from my walk and I got a good 7,000 steps in. So by the time we go to the airport and walk around and get checked in and all that, I will be set with steps. Finishing up my last packing things and I'm going to share some tips with you. So I have like the wonkiest like setup for my camera right now. Like I promised before I went for the walk is that I was going to share with you some packing tips. So right now I'm going to give some of those to you. I've talked about them briefly right in the France vlogs, but I have some good ones that I always do that I forgot to share. So here we go. First, use packing cubes. It condenses everything, but besides that, what's really great is it also keeps like your shirts and other garments that you're going to wear clean. You don't have to worry about anything rubbing up against them. I just really love these things. For example, this little packing cube has all my socks, underwear, undershirts, all of that stuff for this whole entire week. It just condenses it down and it's really great. The next tip I wanna share, whether you're using packing cubes or just layering things in your suitcase, between every few layers, add a dryer sheet. This is an easy way to keep your clothes smelling really, really fresh. Here's my next tip. For every pair of bottoms you pack, pack two to three tops to go with it. So for example, I packed one pair of dark jeans, one pair of distressed jeans, one pair of really casual black pants that I cuff, and then a pair of dress pants. So for each of those bottoms, I have two shirts that go with that. That means I have eight outfits ready to go. Also helps you pare down and know that you have really clear outfits that will work once you get to your destination. So you can see for this trip that I have all my socks, underwear, undershirts, all my button downs and shirts that I'll be wearing. Um, I don't worry about wrinkles because I iron everything as soon as I get to the hotel and hang it up so that it's ready for the week. Then in here are all my pants and some other shirts that I'll be wearing. And then what I do with my pajamas is I just roll them and tuck them into the corners because I'm not so worried about them. But layered in between all those are dryer sheets. And then in the other big compartment, because it's going to be like 40, 50 degrees, it's gonna be pretty cold. It's gonna be very similar to when we were in France. I am gonna take my camel coat, two different scarves, and then pack up my shoes. I'm gonna show you what I do with those. If you watch any of my vlogs, you know I love these tassel shoes. What I do is I put a rubber band. If any of your shoes have like a flap or anything that could get caught and curled up, just put a rubber band around it and then use your shoes to hold extra sunglasses. So in here I have my Celine glasses and then in here I have another pair of Desi Perkins Key sunglasses and then you have to have shoe bags. I hate the color of these, but they were super cheap on Amazon, and I just slide all my shoes into one of these bags. But don't let that space go to waste. Use it for something. Here is another tip when traveling internationally. You all take that travel adapter with you that works for all kinds of different sockets. However, you can only ever plug one thing into them, and all of us have multiple things to charge. So buy some sort of USB adapter. For example, this one will charge four devices and just have this with you. So once you plug your adapter in, you can plug this in and then you can charge multiple devices at one time. This has been a game changer for us for international travel, so I highly recommend one of these as well. So we are all packed and ready to go. We're gonna throw Bubba's in the car, drop him off at my in-laws and then get going. I'm taking my typical stuff, my Burberry rucksack, I keep all 55 and then I have this amazing marble suitcase. For the plane ride, I'm just wearing this nice soft H&M striped t-shirt, some joggers, and I have my Adidas Los Angeles kicks. These are the most comfortable shoes. And yeah, we're all set to go. So we are going to hit the road. Bubby, Bubby, time to go, get in the car. Get in the car. We'll go see grandma, let's get it. No, 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 no. Not in the front Hi. Oh, in the front seat. Yes, he got in the front seat and then hopped into the back. Bubby, you ready to go to see Casey? And see Grandma and Pappy? You stay with them. We're gonna go bye-bye. 
I switched back into my Louis Vuitton Eclipse portfolio case. I like this really when I'm traveling because it keeps the screen protected um, and it gets tossed around a little bit more. I really think at the end of the day taking that extra day and pushing the trip back was really smart of us. It just gave me time to get a lot more ready and a lot more prepared. And I'm really excited to get going. Bubby, are you excited? Are you excited? Are you excited? Are you excited? Say, in this lighting, you can't even be seen. All right, so waiting for Steven, and then we will hit the road. You messed up at Starbucks on the way, are you okay? I'm okay. You filming me? Yeah. My banana. The lighting's bad, so they can't even see you. Oh, God. Bubby, our Grammy and Paps. Get on out. Go see Pap. Hello. Great, how are you today? Oh, I'm used to it. Okay, thank you. We are on our flight, um, getting ready to go. Everything has gone really smoothly so far, so we are just waiting for everyone to finish boarding. Um, Steve and I got settled in our little cabin, I guess you could call it, and I brought Estee Lalonde's Bloom to read for the third time. Going to get comfortable, I'm going to vlog while we're here on the flight, and um, yeah, things are going well. I'm actually going to start editing this vlog once we take off, but I am really happy we decided to still go on the trip. I think it's the escape that I need. I think picking up this camera is also a really great way to escape as well. And I'm excited to share this one with you. I think it's gonna be great. So, all right, after takeoff, I'll see you again. Be landing in the next hour or so. The next time I see 